Okay, today's project is the greenhouse at the front of the house. So we're going to use this this year before we make any permanent structures on another part um, of the property. So we do know that for sure, the gentleman who owned this used to grow pot in here. Uh, might have found a dried up pot plant. <laughs> totally found a dried up pot plant. But here in Alberta, I will remind everyone where we live, pot is legal. You can have a couple of plants. So this is going to be super warm. We've got to clean all of this out. And then I think we're going to do some raised beds in here. So stay tuned. is telling me that this is fireweed which I do love but it's got to go and you can make tea out of it so maybe he had fireweed in here if anyone wants to weigh in on what this is let me know found some snake skin in here not that I'm surprised and a slow little bumblebee that we will save because we need him but look at that snake skin here someone put their hand beside it yeah that is not a small snake that's a big Hello, old garter snake, I'm sure. I'm trying to help you. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know anything about snakes. I don't know anything about snakes either. Okay, the halfway point. That was actually easier than we thought. So we're going to figure out how to build some garden beds in here now. Okay, I'll show you guys. It's up there in the corner. I think I got a bunch of canning stuff. So this is well built. This is not falling apart. So we can totally take those stairs up and I'll get Mr. Magpie to show us what's in there. Mr. Magpie's checking out what's in that box. Is it canning stuff? Nice, I need canning jars for the garden. Yep, so we've got the three boxes full. Nice, there's our canning jars. Yep. Perfect. That's what's in all the boxes and then we got the big canning pot. Yeah, it seems to be. Cool. Anything in the box? Just more cans. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It's a drill into the two It's soft. Holy crow! It is amazing what some time and some elbow grease can do. It's like echoey in here now. So the plan is to put raised garden beds along here. So oh we have tons of wood on this farm. Like the only thing I spent some money on was the plants and some soil to amend this. We have enough wood to build a whole house out here. The guy had tons of wood. You will see. So we're going to rototill it with a small rototiller a bit, put in raised beds here. And then because this is south facing, we can totally put tomatoes and stuff over here in their pots. Awesome. <laughs> So my sister's got a great little rototiller that folds up. It's electric. Goes in the car and look at that. Other than a few stones. Stones are okay. Stones just count when you're doing things like carrots. So this is looking good. Okay, so now we've rototilled and this is going to be the bottom soil. I just wanted to loosen it up so that the vegetable roots can go in this. We're going to build the frames, fill it with the good soil that I bought and then put the plants in. <laughs> much dirt in I've just got the supports on one side so if we put more dirt in I would put another support on each side to hold the boards this is good enough okay time for soil get going Mr. Magpie oh there's my handsome labor force right there all right first bag in We got a bunch of squash that's going in cucumbers and stuff squash is going to be down where it's deeper and that end is going to be nice and hot 
And then I'm gonna plant some seeds up here. Mike and my sister actually fixed the door too. It was off, in case you don't remember. Yay! Look how smooth this is. Oh yeah, like like butter, like. Oh, did you lock my sister in there? Good, let's go. Yeah. She smells like pond water. Real life Stardew Valley. Yeah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Mike the farmer on Stardew. Need an upgraded watering can, but otherwise, <laughs> it's working. It is. So there. That's a bunch of squash down there. We just planted stuff that we really like eating, and that can tolerate the heat too. So I did get some celery that can tolerate the sun, it says. We'll see. We bought two baskets of flowers to attract bees and pollinators in here. Yay! Okay, here's hoping we don't screw this up.